So there are now lots of options for variable spectrum available on the market. Today I'm looking at the Mars Hydro system, it's called the Adlite system, and they do supplementary UVA uh, deep red, 660 nanometer red, and far red, 730 nanometer LED bars. And they are uh, compatible with their folded commercial, or all of their LED bar grow lights actually. Uh, this one is the FC6500 that I'm gonna look at as well. The question is, how do you use them? So when to use those um, supplementary spectrum to maximize the potential for the grow, um, basically getting the maximum yield and quality and uh, also healthy plants. So let's have a look at this system first and uh, we'll go from there. So this is the FC6500 and a folding commercial light. Uh, so they're higher end of light, um, high end LEDs, um, Samsung Evos, and uh, high wattage. This is about 700 watts from the wall at uh, 240 volts. Um, so big light. Um, Mars Hydro recommended it to me for a four by four at 12 inches. So I tested it in that and it performed very well. Although certainly for the more experienced grower based on the, um, the performance and the average power levels. But uh, yeah, it gives a really good spread and uh, you got some nice features. So you got your, your standard um, Mars, Hydro driver, Mars Hydro driver on the back, along with their little control station. So you can use their Bluetooth button um, uh, to connect to your app and control the light fixture that way. And then you can also daisy chain multiple units with the uh, network cable and uh, control multiple units simultaneously, either with the dimmer knob here or with, um, with an external controller. So nice feature there. There's lots of cable. And the reason is that that driver can be also mounted remotely out of the grow room just to minimize heat, which is a nice uh, touch. And from a mechanical perspective, has a nice little hinge joint here. Actually, I say it's nice and neat. I like the design of that actually from an engineering point of view, it's pretty cool. But nice, strong, sturdy fixture, lightweight. Um, and as I said, delivers a very good spread. I tested it with the EPAR sensor in a four x four, as I said, and it delivers an excellent 2.54 usable um, power per watt or PPFD per watt. An average of 1173 micromoles across that four x four. As you can see there, a very good spread. Um, that's with the EPAR sensor, so measuring from 400 to 750 nanometers. And then there's the range of supplementary bars to go with it. So you could see the UV one here is attached. Um, there's a little clip on bar, it sips on top of the LED bars. It'll take all three of the bars. Um, now each of these bars is powered uh, by itself. Uh, it doesn't need an external driver, it has the drivers um, integrated inside the bars. And you can see here there's a deep red one here, that's 660 nanometers. There's a far red one here, dull to the eye, that's outputting 730 nanometers. And then you've got these uh, UV ones at about 365, 370 nanometers. Um, so you've got three options. And they would have to be controlled separately, just with a little digital timer. And you can have, but you can also daisy chain them together. You can see here you've got daisy chain lines to, uh, to run them together. So you could uh, have them all on the same timing circuit or um, control them separately. In terms of the spectrum, had a look at all three, no surprises there. The uh, you know, 660 nanometer peaks at 660. Um, far red peaks at 730 and the UVA at 360, although I can't really read down below that. Um, you can just see the peak starting to appear for the UV. So how to use them? That is the question. Well, first, go look at what they do in terms of the power range. Um, first one I tested was the UV bars. Now the power range is 700 to uh, 750 nanometers, the extended power range. The UVA puts out a little bit of blue in the visible spectrum, adds 1.4% power. So it does very little for the um, actual power output. Uh, the infrared 730 nanometers 
delivers uh, about 3.4% more power. Um, so raising that average from 1173 up to 1213. And then we have the 660 nanometer bars. These are the uh, big wattage now, these are 60 watts. And uh, deliver about a 10% increase in power up to 1286 micromoles. Um, so those three options, Mars Hydro have some recommendations. Uh, there are three ranges of these bars, by the way, or sorry, two ranges of the three bars. Uh, there's smaller versions and larger versions, depending on your, your size of grow tent. Um, and then there's recommendations for how to use them. So Mars Hydro suggests for UV five minutes every hour um, in the veg stage, 10 minutes every hour in the flower stage. Um, infrared 15 minutes before light and after light cycles that's um, doing this sort of putting them to sleep and waking them up um, according to the, um, the theory and then you have deep red which is put on in the flowering stage for uh, for the full cycle um, which I would agree with that one particularly it's just giving you a big extra boost in terms of power and yield but my own personal recommendations are slightly different. Um, I would suggest the following. So if you think about the theory and what you're trying to do with your indoor grow, in the early stages, you're trying to get the plants as big as possible. Um, so I would recommend using the far red in the early stages, vegetative stages, until your plant canopy is um, full. Now with this, light intensity in a 4x4, you'd probably only be running, um, you'd probably want what, about, about four or 500 par. So running this at about 30, 40% for the early stages of growth, pushing it up in veg to maybe six, 700 uh, par. So that's at what, about 50, 60%, and then up to 100 as soon as you can through veg. But with the far red on in those early stages, um, you're gonna get the benefits of basically larger leaves, plants stretching out and filling that canopy so it'll take up all that light as quickly as possible. The far red later on, I would, well, I'd switch it off once the canopy is full and then I'd consider uh, putting it back on again um, after stretching, so after about four or five weeks of flower and using it um, to finish because it's got that extra power and, uh, you know, it's going to help you in terms of um, uh, yield basically mass and yield more photosynthesis more mass and then the next one the 660 nanometer red as i said i don't think it's it's complicated you just want to boost that flowering stage get as much light as possible and uh, you will be getting up to 12 1300 micromoles so you know it'll be a high performance setup but that's when i would use them and as for the uva well uva can uh, in theory improve quality uh, but definitely can increase um, plant strength and also keep them uh, dense and short if that's what you, you wish. So I would suggest with the UVA, using them at the early stages of growth, you know, they'll help thicken cuticles, and, um, which is the, where the, the, um, the branches join onto the main branch uh, and the leaves onto those branches. So that's gonna help your plants be strong and sturdy. So I'd use that consistently through the, um, the early uh, seedling and veg stage. And then I would use it towards the end um, in terms of the last three and four weeks. So that's my suggestion. I did post online about it to see what people thought. There was a lot of different ideas. Um, I'll link below to those, uh, those posts I did and the suggestions that other people had. Um, but yeah, all round. Very good value for money, these uh, Adelite bars, these additional bars. Very interesting to be able to experiment with spectrum and see what benefits you can get from using different spectrum at different times of your grow. And as always, really interested to hear what you think yourself. So please do leave comments below uh, on what you think of my suggestion, what you think of Mars Hydros, what suggestions you would have in terms of how to use these bars and in particular, if anybody has used them, what benefits they saw. So I'd be really interested to hear that. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please click below to see 
the uh, the links to these um, these new products from Mars Hydro, and uh, take care.